Hi my angels and welcome back to my channel. So today I have the look that I was wearing in my January favourites. Now this is perfect for Valentine's Day coming up or maybe if you have date night or if you're going out with the girls. It's a really nice soft pinky makeup look which I feel like I haven't really done on my channel so I thought this would be the perfect time to do it. So if you'd like to see how to get this makeup look then please keep watching. Okay, so starting off by prepping the skin, I'm using the Pixie Face Mist and spraying that all over my face and then patting it in because it is really wet. And then for primer, I use the Too Faced Hangover RX Primer and I really like this because I feel like my makeup really sticks well to my face. And for foundation, I used a mixture of the Infallible 24 Hour Matte and the new L'Oreal Sculpt Base. I really like this combination. It's the right amount of dewiness and the right amount of matteness. Um, so I'm just applying this with a foundation brush first and then blending everything away with my damp beauty blender. And what I've been doing recently is been using the kind of domed end first to blend everything in. And then I take like one or two of the sides of the beauty blender, like you can see here, just to go over my entire face. And I did make sure that I didn't put too much foundation on my under eyes because I didn't want it to look cakey when we put our concealer on. It's a new thing that I've been doing recently. And here I'm just putting a little bit of the Best Damn Beauty lip mask on before moving on to concealer. And I here I'm using my trusty anti-age eraser eye concealer. I feel like it's the first time I've actually said the name correctly, but I'm just applying this onto the usual areas. So underneath my eyes in a funny triangle shape, on my forehead, down the bridge of my nose, my chin, and around my mouth. I feel like I've said this so many times, I could literally say it in my sleep. Um, but once I've got that all in the areas I wanted it to be in, I'm just again blending that out with my damp beauty blender. I have been putting less foundation underneath my eyes just because I love going in with a lot of concealer and I find that avoiding those areas with foundation really helps it look really nice and not cakey. Um, so then I'm taking my Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder and I'm setting all of those areas that we highlighted and concealed with this kind of face brush and this is just going to make sure everything is nice and set and then it's not going to budge either. Okay, so moving on to the eyes, I'm using the Color Tattoo by Maybelline and this is in the shade Creme de Nude and I'm just applying this all over my eyelids and this is going to act as a nice base and this, you guys, is totally a dupe for the MAC Paint Pots, I believe, in the shade Soft Ochre. But don't quote me on that because I could be wrong, but I just love using this as an eyeshadow base. So once I've got that all over my eyelids, I'm just going over the top of that with some more Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. And this is just going to help all the eyeshadows that we put on to blend really nicely and not have any kind of weird like splodgy parts and that aren't blended. So taking this Aquamatic um, eyeshadow stick by Make It Forever. It's a really gorgeous like rosy pink shade and I'm applying this all over my eyelid. So not going into the crease but on the eyelid where my eyeball is. I don't even know if that makes any sense but you can kind of see me doing it here so I'm trying to make sure that I'm not going into my crease. So once I've got a good amount of this on, I'm going to add a highlighter on top. So the highlighter of a choice is this beautiful galactic face glow in the shade Luster. This is beautiful. I do have a coupon code for Galactic, so I will leave it in the info box below for you guys, but I'm just going to town and I'm packing a crap load of product on top of where we applied that eyeshadow stick. And as you can see here, it literally like glistens to the max. All the other eyeshadows I'm going to be using are from the Naked 3 palette. So I'm taking the shade Nuna and I'm putting this into the crease of my eyeballs. So as you can see, just using windscreen wiper motions back and forth, back and forth. And I'm just going and blending that color in. You don't want this color to be super duper heavy. You want to go in with a light hand. And here you can just see me doing the other eye. And then if you feel like you do have a little bit more added than you wanted it to, 
um, go in with a clean brush and try and blend that out or add a lighter color on top. Once I'm happy with the way that both my eyes are looking, I went in with the shade Black Heart, which is a really nice shimmery dark purple color. And I'm concentrating this on the outer V of my eyes. And this is just gonna add a bit of dimension. I was actually gonna leave the eyes like this, but I felt like they were super duper plain looking and I wasn't gonna wear any eyeliner. So I went and added this to the eyes to make them nice and kind of 3D looking rather than really super flat. So here I am just going ahead and blending Blending all that out, making sure it's nice and seamless. You don't want any harsh lines or anything. And I felt like my eyeshadow was kind of a bit too like elongated. So I went in with the Maybelline concealer and I do this quite a lot. And I just like pat it around the outside parts of my eyeshadow that I want to kind of get rid of. <laughs> so I pat it on and then I just blend that away with my beauty blender. Because this is a really shimmery eye, including a shimmery kind of outer crease color as well, I went in with the shade Strange from the same Naked 3 palette and I applied that to my brow bone. I very rarely use a matte kind of highlight shade for my eye brow bone, I was about to say eye bone, <laughs> but um, I really liked the way that this looked because I didn't want it to be like I was a glitter ball or like a disco ball so I wanted to make sure that it was a nice matte shade and this was just perfect then I went in with a clean fluffy blending brush just to make sure all the colors on the crease were nice and blended in together so now it's time to fix the brows. I'm using the Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade or Pomade, however you say it, in the shade Ash Brown. First, I'm just kind of combing my hairs through. Guys, I've been trying to grow my eyebrows out since December, but I'm just, I feel like I'm never gonna be blessed with thick brows. And you know what? I'm okay with that. I quite like the shape of them that they are right now. So I don't think I'll go any thicker, but I'm really liking the way that they are slightly looking fuller in a weird way. Um, but so many of you have been asking me to keep the eyebrow section in of my tutorials. So I left this in for you all. And once they are, were all filled in, I went in with my favorite thing at the moment and that is the L'Oreal Brow Artist Plumper and this is like I've said before super glue for your eyebrows like they stay put I don't think I put enough on in this tutorial because they were flinging about but that's okay we'll work with it then taking the false lash sculpt mascara I am going to town with this on my lashes as always if you guys watched my January favorites video, you guys will know that I've been loving this. And coming up is a clip of my eyelashes before and after. And this seriously is such an insane mascara. I am feeling like it's becoming my favorite. Ah, I can't believe I just said that. Um, but here I'm just doing the same thing to the other lashes. And then I moved on to eyeliner. Because I wanted this to be really a kind of soft makeup look, I went in with a nude eyeliner. This is the one by Charlotte Tilbury. I love this nude eyeliner. I feel like it definitely is the best one out of all the other eyeliners that I own that are nude. So I'm just putting this on both of my lower water lines and the mascara actually coats your top waterline so I didn't have to worry about filling that in. Then I'm taking that same false lash sculpt mascara and I'm just going ahead and applying that very carefully to my bottom lashes. And that you guys is the eyes complete. I didn't want to add any winged eyeliner or anything like that because I wanted this look to be really soft and I was going to go in with some really fluttery false lashes as well at the end. So I left the eyes as that and then I moved on to contour. Here I'm just using a powder contour and I'm using the Freedom Makeup Pro, 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 Pro Strong. First time that I used it and guys, doesn't this just look like the kind of high-end contour palettes out there? <laughs> um, so here I'm just contouring my cheeks and the usual places and you will see in a little while just how impressed I was with this. I think this is around 10 or 12 pounds. I tried to look in various super drug stores but then I just ended up getting it online from their website. I'll leave the details and everything in the info box as always but I am super impressed. I just use a mixture of all three of the kind of brown shades and just started contouring my face and I 
am currently loving it. <laughs> um, the brush I also got, it comes with the strobe palette. And here I'm just using that to contour my nose. And I feel like this brush is so good at contouring my nose because I usually don't feel like I do a good contour of a nose. But with this, I was pleasantly surprised. And I'm just blending those lines away with my damp beauty blender. And here you can see me, I give it a big thumbs up. Taking the same Galactic Face Glow in the shade Luster, I'm adding this to the tops of my cheeks. And this has a really beautiful pink undertone to it. So I was like, I'm definitely gonna go in with a pink highlight. And as you can see, it just looks so stunning. And then I just sprayed a little bit of the Pixie Face Mix onto my Beauty Blender. And then I'm just kind of bouncing that on top of the area that we highlighted. And this is just gonna make it look a bit more creamy and less powdery. So it's gonna kind of blend in really well with the skin. And I was like, I still need to add a bit more highlight. So I'm taking some of the Anastasia Beverly Hills highlight in the shade. I feel like this one's called Starlight. And I'm just adding this to the tops of my cheekbones. And I'm not kind of taking that any further down. And then I did decide to also pop this on to the inner corners of my eyes. And this again, just makes the look look really like soft and glamorous at the same time. And then I'm taking that same product down the bridge of my nose, a little bit on the tip of my nose, and then also the Cupid's bow as well. Then it's time to move on to the soft pink lips. And first I just took away the lip balm that I had because sometimes when I put too much like lip sticky products, <laughs> it doesn't slide on very well and I feel like I need to take it off. So I'm going in with my Rimmel lip liner in the shade East End Snob and I totally love this lip liner. I think I discovered it about three or four years ago and I used to wear it non-stop. I kid you guys not, I've probably gone through about, I want to say like 12 of these, <laughs> but I absolutely love them. They come in loads of different shades now as well and they're really good for drugstore lip liners. Now, I was gonna leave the lips like this, but then I was like, mm, no, I want some lipstick on top. So over the other week, I picked up this LA Girl Matte Lipstick in the shade Hush, and I'm just putting that all over my lips. And then I was like, I love a matte lip, a like super, super, super matte lip. So just to help it get matter quicker, I took some of the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder and first blotted my lips and then put that on top. Just because sometimes I find some matte lipsticks tend to get, like take a bit of time for them to get super duper fully matte. So I sped it up by doing that. Then I put some lashes on and this, by the way, you guys, is my DIY eyelash holder. I have done a video on it and it's super cheap to make and it condenses your eyelashes down so much. I'll leave a link to the video that I did on it in the info box below, but I'm just putting some Eyelure 141 lashes on my eyes and I'm using the Eskido glue, which is my favorite eyelash glue to plonk them into place. And I'm making sure that they're super, super close to my root of my natural lashes. And I'm kind of pinching the false lashes to my real lashes, just so that it looks really natural and you can't see the eyelash band. Then I did take a spoolie and I combed the false lashes and my real lashes together so they look even more natural than they did before. Next up, I kind of went in and added some more eyeshadow. So I'm taking the shade Dark Side and I'm adding that to the outer corners of my eyes. Now, I always do this at the end of like every look <laughs> just because sometimes I feel like things need adding or like intensifying. So here I'm just doing that and then I'm running that same color along the lower lash line as well. Just really slightly, nothing too crazy, nothing too heavy, just something really subtle so that the bottom of the eyes are kind of balanced out with the top of the eyes as well. That is basically everything that I was gonna add, but then I was like, something is missing. I feel like there's something missing on the cheeks. So I decided to add a little bit of color and I'm using the Hourglass Ambient Palette. I feel like I don't really know the name of this, like the full name, but I'm taking the pink shade and I'm applying that to the apples of my cheeks. And once that was done, I was like, yes, now I feel like this look is complete. So last step, I used the Urban Decay Makeup Setting Spray and I sprayed that all over my face so that the make makeup, makeup, <laughs> the makeup lasted all day. And if you're following me on Snapchat, you will know that my makeup was pretty like 
still as fresh as a daisy even quite late at night so this you guys is the final makeup look i really hope you enjoyed this pinky soft glamorous look which is really ideal for valentine's day whether you're spending it with your other half your boyfriend your girlfriend whoever it may be or even if you're just spending it with your friends this is a really nice easy fun flirty look to wear so I really hope you enjoyed it I have missed filming tutorials for you guys so much please leave me suggestions of color combinations and things you would like to see on my channel next and I guess that is all for now and I will see you all in my next video bye <laughs>